Thanks. Hi, it's Tony Weber from Carry Audio once again. We are also introducing this year at Cedia a couple of new solid state power amps. Carrie's been known for 22 years for its tube technology, and our head of engineering has developed some wonderful new solid state amps. We've had two seven channel amps for a couple of years now to go with our home theater equipment, and we've just brought out a new pair of stereo and mono block amps to use for building blocks or to use for music systems. This amplifier that we are looking at now is called the SA500.1. It's a monoblock amp, single channel, that's 500 watts into 8 ohms and 1,000 watts into 4 ohms, and then has quite a bit of headroom beyond that, so it's almost unlimited power. It's, again, balanced construction throughout. It's modular construction. If there are ever service needs, we can send out an amplifier module instead of sending a 100-pound amplifier back and forth across the country. It's very easy to service. The other thing is that we, it has a companion stereo amp called an SA200.2, 200 watts per channel into 8, 400 into 4, and so on. It, w this is a parallel, not a, not a bridge, but a parallel version of that amplifier. The only difference is the input board back here. And again, for field serviceability, a client can own one of the 200 watt per channel stereo amplifiers decide he needs more power, bigger home, more demanding speakers, or just wants to be more of a he-man, he can, our local dealer can order this input board. The hardest part actually is taking the 24 screws out to get the cover off. Then it's just you pop out six screws, this input board comes out, a couple of little Molex connectors inside, and the lo and behold, the 200 watt per channel amp is now a 500 watt monoblock, or vice versa. So it gives a tremendous amount of flexibility for building either large-scale theater systems, biamping things, doing very high-performance music systems. They are voiced to sound very much like Harry Tube equipment, so they have a very sweet top-end, very lush mid-range, yet they've got the, the bottom-end control that a tube amplifier just cannot have.